Here are three reasons why you are losing sales today. These three reasons are something that I can hopefully put in front of you so you could actually see it. And if you're doing these three things right now, or at least one of the three, or maybe even all the three, you now know to not do them, <laughs> right? In order to increase your sales, sometimes all you really gotta do is just make the smallest adjustment, make the smallest tweak. It, it just takes the right coaching. And I think that, you know, we in sales sometimes forget that sales in itself is something that doesn't, it's not necessarily taught at school, right? There's no university that teaches you sales. And I think that, that it's one of the most important skills to really have in order to live life in general. You don't necessarily need to do sales for a profession, but you need to know how to do basic sales. And I think the reason why it's important is because probably the most, the, in my opinion, the absolute most important skill that you need to have to be successful, to be wealthy, to be prosperous, right, to always win, is the skill to influence, your ability to influence and persuade. I believe that inf influence is done in many forms. Like influence can be from a standpoint of a consultant, like you're educating someone to influence them to make a decision. You can also influence as a leader, you know, maybe you wanna be a manager, maybe you wanna run a team or guide a team or run with a team. That's a, that's a sense of influence. But when it comes down to just general sales, like if you do sales as a profession, you really need to understand how to influence in order to to dominate this game in sales. And when I'm talking about dominate, I'm just I'm talking about be financially free, to be always within the top ten of your company, to to be the recognized, the acknowledged, you know, your you're envied <laughs> pretty much, and in a good way because people want to know how you're doing it. And I think that with enough practice and enough repetition, you can learn how to properly influence. And it's the best skill that you're ever going to have because you're going to influence your, you know, your companion. You're going to be influencing your children at some point. You're going to influence people around you in order to, to make decisions that they wouldn't normally have made if they didn't have your influence. And if you use it for the right cause, like meaning to help someone enhance their life and to improve their, their quality of living, then you're going to get this, this reward back in return. You know, some people think of it as karma. Um, I think of it as, as, you know, you do, you do good to people and, and good will happen to you, right? Like you help enough people get what they want. You will eventually get what you want. That's what Zig Ziglar said, right? So, well, in this video, I'm going to share with you three main reasons why you may be losing sales today. So stick around, grab a pen and paper if this is your first time um, watching the, the channel at Sales Remastered. Be sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're on Facebook, be sure to hit the like button on the homepage so that you add me to your stream. If you hit the alert or the bell on YouTube, you'll be notified anytime I post some new content and you'll be one of the first few to actually get a piece of that content. And in my opinion, I think you're always just one video away. You're just one session away, you're one mentoring uh, uh, piece of advice away from unlocking your full potential. And I hope that this video does that for you. What's up everybody, welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about the three things that kill your sales. These three things are, it may be done sub subconsciously, like you don't realize you're doing it. And so when I announce these three, I really need you to be real with yourself. I need you to become absolutely self-aware in this video because only you can really spot whether or not you're doing this. And someone else might have said it, or you know, you could have your manager try to tell you, hey man, did you know that you do this? But sometimes you take that with a grain of salt. So the only person that's really, 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 really gonna help you overcome this challenge and kill these three bad habits that are ultimately killing your sales is gonna be your acceptance, boo-boo. So you gotta be able to say, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm doing that, bro. I gotta change it up, I gotta flip it up. So starting with number one, the number one reason why you are losing sales right now is your intent crazy right your intent bro so so let me explain so some of us go into our day our our process our origination block whatever you want to call it our our work right our our i believe it's our day right like our day of production in a way where our intent is all wrong our intent is just to sell somebody our intent is just to make a couple extra bucks 
our intent is to close, right? Like, ooh, you are closer, ooh, closer. And I think that when you go into your day with, with that fogged view of just looking to capitalize, like it's cool to have hustle, right? It's cool to, you know, want money and everything. But when your intent is coming from a place of greed, I think that your it radiates through your delivery, it radiates through your message, your wording, your demeanor. And when people engage with you, it's like if you were having a bad day. You ever you ever have a bad day and someone could tell you're having a bad day? Like, are you mad, boo? You know, like, woo, because it's coming through your tone, your demeanor, your body language. And so if you're going into a sales engagement or a sales conversation or a sales pitch, and your intent is only to book that person, like I'm gonna make a sale, I gotta make this sale, or you're trying to uh, foster relationships with referral partners, like you're trying to get a meeting with a real estate agent, or you're trying to get a meeting with a potential referral partner or a builder, and your demeanor and attitude is all about capitalizing and just coming up, and it's all about you, that's you show, then your, your, your intent is all wrong. Instead, switch the intent to actually wanting to help to actually wanting to serve. And I promise you, you will actually attract more compliance rather than friction. You, att you attract friction, you attract let me think about it, you attract okay, sounds good, but let me go ahead and pray about it, let me go ahead and talk to my wife or my husband about it. You're gonna get one, one of those that the lack of commitment when your intent is wrong. So really understand what your intent is and your intent is should be serving. You want to serve a solution. You want to be the creative expert that has the proper fix, the quick fix. People will pay you to fix their problems. People, pay, We pay people all the time to fix our problems. We pay doctors to fix our problems. We pay CPAs to fix our problems. We pay de department stores to fix our problems, grocery stores to fix our You get it, you get where I'm getting at. So you have to understand that your intent needs to come from a, from a genuine, real place. And when you can, change your perspective and make your intent be about the other person and how you're gonna help them, I promise you, you'll actually get more deals that way. Now, reason number two why you're killing sales is because of these dumbass questions that you might be asking. And if you're asking these questions, again, boo-boo, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's just your influence. It's the people you got around you. Maybe it's the way you grew up or maybe it's the way your sales trainer is telling you how to sell loans right now or sell your product. But you have to, have to, have to, have to own up if you're asking these ignorant questions. Now, now, ignorant question number one. <laughs> How can I help you today? Man, you got to get that out of your conversation. Don't ask them that, bro. Like you have to be the professional. You have to be the expert. Another way to 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 have that effect, right? Is to figure out if cuz ultimately what we want to do is figure out why they're there. Why are you call why are they calling in? Why did they stop by? Why are what you know, why are they making the contact? What questions do they have? That's ultimately what we're trying to find out because we need to know what direction to to drive the conversation, right? And when we ask that question, we unknowingly, unbeknownst to us, we actually set up our own roadblock. So dead that question, instead change it or swap it out with this statement. Let me make sure you're in the right place. Boom, that's it. <laughs> That's it, bro. Because if you think about it, again, with empathy, and you're talking to somebody who's maybe just shopping around, regardless if they're an online inquiry, regardless if they, you know, just calling around for quotes, the bottom line is that that person is shopping. They're just, they're just there for information, right? So you're actually answering one of the main concerns that they have is whether or not you're the right one. Get it? So think about it. When you're calling out or when you're inquiring to some, or when you're window shopping, you go in because you want to see if it's the right one. So help them. Play to their beat and say that. Say, you know what? Before I begin, let me make sure you're in the right place. Bam. I'm just, all the guard. Just all the guard gone, bro. And so that's something to, to, to consider. Now, another ignorant question is, are you ready to begin? Or <laughs> does that sound good to you? Or which option would you like? Or can we, are, you know, are you ready to commit? Those are dumb ass questions, bro. Because what you're doing is you're, you're putting the ball in their court and everyone, everyone, especially consumers, it, what, we all share a common fear. And one of those common fears is decision making. Right? Regardless of how important you are, or how skilled you are, or how experienced you are, you know, one of the things that we dread doing subconsciously is decision making. So when you, when you 
put it in their court so that they have to make a decision you put them on the spot oftentimes what they'll say is like okay well I, I don't want to make the dumb decision this is what they're thinking so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and think about it some more I'm gonna do a little bit of research right let me go ahead and talk to my companion for a minute or two and we'll get back to you and what happens is they end up talking themselves out of the sale so that's a that's an ignorant ignorant question remove that instead assume the clothes drive the clothes you know one of the important things of, of actually influencing as I'd mentioned uh, is that you're actually guiding them you're you're guiding them like a like a tour guide right like you're taking them to the destination where you want to go and that destination is them buying your product or buying your service so remove that ignorant question that's just a stupid question so keep in mind again um, uh, reason number two why you may be losing a lot of sales are just dumb questions so so try and remove the dumb questions out of the equation and then finally reason number three why you're why you are losing sales right now is because you don't have influence yourself you meaning you you don't have the justification as to why they should buy you're not influencing your own self to to influence others and this this sometimes just comes from the right guidance the right mentoring but let me give you an example so before you pitch a deal you have to influence yourself that that is the absolute best decision because if you're influenced then you can influence others does that make sense so it's like it, it, influence is a transfer of energy right so so when we influence others ultimately what we want to do is we want them to feel the exact same way as us we want them to feel our our energy our commitment our you know our enthusiasm and so when we're selling ultimately what we're doing is just transferring the emotion to them you get it like they need to feel the same way I do so, but but here's the thing though is that most of the time when we go into pitches we don't feel the, the way that we want them to feel so if we're going into pitches right now and you, you have any slightest doubt in your head like oh man they're not gonna buy then you're not influenced yet bro if you go into it like oh man this is not what they asked for then you're not influenced you have to justify it to yourself you have to pull up the facts and look at the the entire thing as, as kind of like okay well well here's a solution this solution will will snowball to this solution and here's this benefit and then it just snowballs right how it it kind of ripples throughout the, your your prospects life and it improves every single facet of their life but see what we do sometimes without the right influence and the right mentor and the right coaching is we'll go into a pitch and just be solely about rating fees or costs like here's option number one here's option number two which leads Leads that ignorant question which option would you like <laughs> right no dude you but you should already be able to drive that conversation know what decision they, they they should make and influence that one decision there are no options boo boo like this is the, this is the one right and you have to be confident the only way you can be confident of that is you need to be able to influence yourself now here's a hack the best way to influence yourself is find an influencer find a mentor find a coach find someone who who you know the, 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 there's an underlying condition to that though the the mentor or the coach that you need to follow that you need to work with actually has to be doing what you're doing right they can't just be that general like I can't necessarily rely on a mentor who sells timeshares because that's a different sandbox right like the the wording is different like unless he told me sp like general information that that helped me uh, improve my mindset, improve the way I looked at things, gave me thought-provoking content to kind of help me think outside the box, then yeah, I'm going to go and lean on them for that. But for the technicalities, like the sales techniques, the, the, the sales hacks, I can't rely on that person because they're not in the right industry as me. So you need to check your portfolio of influence. You need to find, find out what, what personalities or what uh, channels are you following what books are you reading that that you rely on for sales techniques and if it's coming from a person that isn't doing what you do boo boo you have to find someone that's doing what you do and fortunately you did here at sales remastered I do what you do I I hustle like you do I'm in the trenches like you do I'm today right now after I get ready for for work I'm going straight to the trenches I'll see you there boo boo but see here here's the thing the reason why you feel the the energy why you feel the compassion is because I know what the fuck I'm talking about.
I know exactly how you feel. I know exactly what you're running into. So if you follow these three reasons as to why you're not winning any sales and you, you really own up and say, damn D, I am doing number three a lot. Or damn D, I am doing number one a lot. Or damn D, fuck, you just listed out my entire process, boo-boo. Well, then you need to recognize where the fixes are and you can now spot the areas that you just need to make the smallest improvements. You just need to make quick adjustments. And if you wanna learn everything else, Visit and stay and subscribe and follow Sales Remastered on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Go to my website, salesremastered.com. Request a copy of the sales script. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. Unlock your potential. Put down the major roadblock of, of consumers contacting you with this guard in front of them that stops you from making a sale. Look at the script. Look at the conversion checklist that I've added to the script. Put yourself in an advantage spot, in a position where you could win and influence because if you learn how to influence, you will learn how to sell and make money. So I hope this video helps. If it did, comment below. Don't forget to like the video and, uh, and, and share the link. You know, this week, again, Thursday, every Thursday, live at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you're going to want to be sure to catch me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or even Twitter for the live stream. Um, the live stream is going to be 30 minutes of just some live uncut content that's going to help you pick up your units. It's going to help you pick up your production. It's going to help you pick up your attitude. It's just going to help you overall, like all the information here. So get a gander of the, of the other videos and comment. Let me know what your favorite part of the video is and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.